What's the word, y'all? It's your boy J Sites, and I'm back with another tutorial. Today, we are After Effects, but only for a short time, not a long time. And we jumping straight into Blender. I'm about to show y'all how to make this little TV effect y'all see right here on my screen. So sit tight, let's get right. So I'm gonna start off on After Effects. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna find some footage, maybe around four clips, and I'm gonna pre-compose those. In this pre-composition, I'm gonna grab an adjustment layer and put it over to my last three clips. On this adjustment layer, I'm gonna do some basic coloring. So if you don't have film convert, you can just drop a Lumetri color. But if you do have film convert, you could just copy these settings. The, the settings aren't mandatory, but you can use film convert to give you something that has a lot of grain and you can saturate your clip like that. Now go to the effects and presets and drag and drop STV damage and you wanna give yourself a very grainy look like an old TV. If you pay attention to my effect area, you see I'm playing with bar brightness and I'm bringing down the brightness of the overall clip. I'm adding more static and stuff like that. Really, you just want this to end up looking like an old television. You know what I'm saying? I'm also going to transition in between my clips using this reception monitor. As you can see, I'm making three keyframes. Now I'm just going to copy those keyframes over. So it looks like I'm changing channels. And then I'm going to drop posterize time. And when I drop posterize time, I'm gonna change the value to around maybe 12. And now for a few more adjustments, I'm just gonna match the beat. And now I'm gonna add some flashes. Now I got this cool little TV look, so now I'm gonna render this. To do that, we'll just hit Control M and let's just make this a PNG sequence. And then once we make this a PNG sequence, let's put it in a folder, easy to access. Now I want you to come into Blender. First three objects you'll see is a light, a cube and a camera. Just click and drag over that stuff and delete it. Now it's time you go get a TV model. If you don't have one, I'll provide one down in the description below. But I'm gonna go get me a TV from Blender Kit. Once I import that TV, I'll be right back with you guys. All right, we got a TV here. So I don't know if your TV has an empty, but if it does, you just wanna click and drag over the entire model with the empty and hit Alt P and then clear parent and keep transform. Now I want you to click the entire object and just press tab. And when you press tab, that's gonna take you into edit mode. When you get into edit mode, you are just gonna click the screen and then press L to grab all of the points on that face. Now you're gonna go to the top left of your screen and drag out another area so we can bring up the shader tab. Also, you can change this to material mode if you wanna see how your stuff is looking. If your node setup does not look like mine, do not worry. All you need is a image texture connected to the base color of your BSD app. Right now, I'm trying to unpack my files, but before I unpack my files, I'm just gonna find a designated space to save this overall project. So once I finish that, I'm gonna unpack the file. And then when I unpack the file, I'm just gonna bring that same image sequence that I've rendered out in After Effects. And once you get into the folder, you just click A so you can click every image, you import it, and then you wanna click side click and if you have the same issue that I'm having over here, this is an easy fix. As you can see, we have the screen highlighted. What you wanna do is you wanna deselect it by just clicking away. Then you wanna hit L over the area that has the error. And if you come up into the textures and check the textures that you have available for the model, you can just find the material. It's supposed to be where those buttons are supposed to be, which in my case is the panel. So I choose the panel material and now I'm straight. And that's how you do that. The next trick is to just 
bring the color into the admission, but I'm gonna show y'all a little trick that my homeboy Affilion suggested that I should put up in this tutorial. You feel what I'm saying? Shout out to my boy because I definitely did not have something to give y'all extra with this today. So what you wanna do is you wanna grab your television and you just wanna bring it over to the left side of your screen. And as you can see, I'm in this view by just pressing one on my numpad. And now I'm going to highlight the TV in Shift D and duplicate it. And then I'm going to repeat that process on each side. Also, I'm using G and X to move my televisions from left to right. You can do the same with Y and Z. If I do that, I'm going to highlight all of the televisions and I'm just going to Shift D and make two extra rows of TVs. Now hit tab to go back into edit mode and then just press L over all of the TV screens. And once you do that, come out of edit mode and then join all of the TVs. Once you join all of the TVs, come back into edit mode, hit U on your keyboard and just go down to cube projection. Now you have one video and a bunch of TV screens. This effect really doesn't take a long time to render neither. Um, I'm not going to give you guys any render settings. I was just trying to give you guys the effect. You feel what I'm saying? There's plenty of videos out there, plus on my YouTube channel, how to render and, uh, you know, the right settings, what to use. But you feel what I'm saying? Next, after this, you can just add a colorama or some type of background. Anything you really want to do with this, make any scene. You feel what I'm saying? You can use any television type. All you have to do is learn the texture process of this television effect but it's fairly easy once you do it two or three times with a couple of different models but that's really the gist of this effect if y'all like these blender tutorials man let me know down in the comment section below also if you really enjoyed this drop a like and share this you feel what i'm saying and i'm gonna be back tomorrow with another one regardless but still you know <laughs> drop the likes in peace